Greetings. My name is Scott Gould. I'm a professor of physics at the W.M. Keck Science Center of Claremont McKenna College, Pitzer College, and Scripps College, members of the Claremont Colleges. This is a video series on learning maple to help you do mathematics and eventually to learn physics as well. It is intended to get you started and it assumes that you've had no experience, but that you are going to be more than the occasional user of Maple. Let's get started. So, once you've got Maple installed, the question is, are there certain preferences that one likes to have for the setup to make life easier in using Maple? And the answer is yes. So let's set the options or preferences. If you have a Mac, you go up and you select the Maple word, and then you drag down until it says preferences. I have a Windows, so what I'm going to select on is tools, and then I'm going to select on options. And then you have the options tab. So both should look the same whether you're on Mac or Windows. All right. So the first thing you'd like to do is you have all sorts of options. One of the things that Maple will do is it will back up files. I suggest that you not keep the files. Uh, otherwise, you will get a massive number of saved files. So you click this icon off. Next, I would select the Interface tab. My next suggestion is under the default format for new worksheets, select to worksheet. We will be using in worksheet mode in order to maximize the productivity but minimize the amount of coding. Under default zoom, most of the time I find it to be too small, so I select it to 125. You are certainly welcome to select it to any size you like. I also like to turn on the large toolbar icon to make sure that the icons are easy to find. Okay. Once you're happy with that, then you apply globally and you let it start and you can see it fills in. Notice the first page consists of things which are in the palettes. Palettes can be dragged up and down. You click and drag. Okay, you could remove the palettes. I usually keep the palettes, and you can resize the palette size. The others, this is the main window where all the information is, and on the far right are some uh, in context menus. I don't use it, so if you click on this button here, it gets removed. I also tend not to show this page initially, but I will note that it does have what's called the Maple Portal, and the Maple Portal is very useful for finding helpful information. So I click that off. Okay. The other thing I tend to mark is under View, I select Markers, and it will show you spaces between bits of information. Other things that are useful to know about Maple is that if you crash your computer or if something gets in a loop and you need to close Maple, it's always useful to select File and then you can find Restore Backup. If you click on the Restore Backup, you can see that if there are any files from previous work and if you want, you can even select it by the details and essentially, when was it last modified? Here's the most recently modified. If I have lost a file, I can find it right there. Okay. So that is also useful. All right. With the icons, one of my things is you have favorite icons in the palettes. You generally have expressions. So let's actually create a file. And now that since our default is going to be a worksheet, you can see that the Maple consists of providing a way in which you input some code and then you get some code out. For example, if I want to add A plus B, I can click on this and start filling the numbers in. So 3, tab, 4, I hit enter, and the result will be 7. Okay. There is all sorts of help inside Maple. 
And again, you go to the Maple Help. You can find Maple Help under F1. You can find a quick reference guide. This is always useful for new users. I also, as I said, the Maple Portal is very good for newer users. In addition, under the Maple Portal, if we click on it, okay, we can learn all sorts of tutorials about talking to Maple, entering information units. In addition, for more uh, extensive training videos, there are Maple training videos in addition to the one I'm producing. There's also the uh, user and manuals and programming manuals. And if you want, you can also find a live assistance on mapleprimes.com. I am often there to help answer questions. If you've gotten through all this, you should be all set and we'll actually get started on the next video. I also have included in the document uh, a, a document associated with each of the videos and they are posted below uh, the video in, on YouTube.